Social media is out to destroy men. It's no secret that men are visual creatures. And honestly, I see no problem with that. But the algorithms exploit this as a weakness to keep you on their platforms as long as possible. By only filling in your following tab with IG models, you're feeding into the exact system that's making men weak today. My guys, there's nothing wrong with having primal physical attraction to women, but use that primal desire to attract real girls in real life, to become the man that won't accept a girl at face value, and the man that will women need to better themselves for. You have the ability to change your own algorithm. So engage with content that will actually serve you. Because at the end of the day, your presence on this earth is to fuel the betterment of society. Ladies, it's time to leave the broke boys and men with no direction in the dust. If you're tired of dating men that can't support you or aren't at the level that you are at, you've got to check out Lexi Dating. Lexi is an exclusive community full of high-end and successful individuals. So if you're tired of dating men with no direction, you should check out Lexi Dating. Men, it's time to leave the dumb who think the average man's salary is six figures in the dust. If you're tired of dating annoying independent boss babes who think they're elite, when they're average at best, check out Trad Wife Dating. It's a community of kind, respectable, child-bearing individuals. So if you're tired of dating girls who accuse you of having no direction, when they medicate themselves for having no direction themselves, check out Trad Wife Dating, where a woman knows her place. You wanna say one? Yeah. When these girls are constantly on these social media platforms, they're constantly being, you know, hit up by DMs. like, yeah, in the DMs, sending likes, sending comments. And with these girls, they always have one foot out the door. Like, how are you going to commit? A lot of these girls, you said they get conditioned into like thinking like the solution to their problems is just at the end of another nude. Like they literally think like, I'm just going to find a new guy. <laughs> social media has profoundly impacted women offering them a curated view of life where everything seems perfect and attainable. Unfortunately, this illusion fails to reveal the harsh realities, leaving women overly selective and men feeling left out. The problem with social media lies in its selective portrayal of life's best moments. In relationships, this creates an unrealistic expectation of perfection, making others' lives appear flawless. This illusion often leads to dissatisfaction as people compare their own lives to these idealized versions. Moreover, social media often highlights the top 1%, creating a belief that average lives are somehow inadequate. This constant comparison fosters a sense of discontent and steals joy from everyday experiences. In the realm of online dating, women often receive a flood of messages, making them seem like unicorns. However, this also creates a competitive environment for men, where standing out becomes challenging. For men, online dating becomes a competition where they constantly compare themselves to others, leading to a decline in self-esteem. This erosion can be disheartening, especially after years of careful grooming and financial investments to appear attractive. In conclusion, social media and online dating have created a culture of comparison that can be detrimental to both men's and women's self-esteem and satisfaction with life. Understanding the dynamics of online dating is crucial for both men and women to comprehend why it often feels like an uphill battle for men. Women tend to follow each other's online strategies, adopting successful tactics used by friends. The online dating landscape has shifted significantly, particularly with the rise of apps like Tinder. Previously, on platforms such as OkCupid or eHarmony, Women would create profiles and receive a deluge of messages from interested men, while men struggled to garner responses. This scenario required men to invest significant effort to connect with women online, while women enjoyed the attention. For women, maintaining a socially acceptable image is crucial, both online and in person. They may claim to drink for enjoyment or seek love and commitment, but their actions might contradict these statements. Similarly, they often profess a love for gourmet food, literature, and coffee, creating a pattern of similarity among profiles, except for their photos. Meeting these women in person might reveal discrepancies between their stated interests and their true preferences, as their main goal could be to present an appealing online persona to attract potential partners. On the other hand, men's profiles tend to be more straightforward, focusing on interests like fitness, pet ownership, travel, 
and occasional extreme sports. They are generally less concerned with conforming to societal norms and more decisive about their preferences. Girls often struggle with authenticity, both in their daily lives and online, finding it challenging to present their true selves to the world. However, if individuals were to genuinely express their interests, the outcomes might be more favorable. For instance, if a woman has written a book, practices mixed martial arts or works as a researcher in a lab, it would be appropriate for her to share these aspects of her identity publicly. Men often gauge their worth based on women's approval and their financial standing relative to other men. While some men may not prioritize wealth, a significant number derive their value from their income and the social status associated with accumulating riches and power. Discrepancies between women's real-life appearances and their online profiles are widespread. Many women I've encountered, both in dating experiences and online interactions, haven't accurately represented themselves in their profiles. Essentially, a woman who appears as an 8 on social media might be, at most, a 6 in real life. The use of makeup and image-enhancing software allows women to alter their digital appearances by making their eyes seem larger, changing facial features, slimming their figures, and adjusting skin color. These enhancements create a significant difference between their online and real-life images, leading to disappointment and a lack of trust. Meeting a girl in person after connecting on a dating site can be disheartening when her real-life appearance significantly differs from the online portrayal. Such discrepancies not only disappoint, but also raise doubts about the person's character. The question arises, why attempt to be someone else online when the reality is different? This kind of inconsistency is akin to dishonesty, a trait that I find undesirable in the women I date. Social media has had a negative impact on generations of women, exposing them to the best aspects of the world without offering a glimpse into the realities of celebrity and influencer lives. This has led to women becoming highly selective and men feeling increasingly alienated. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.